What's happening, guys? Coming at you with another cigar review. So today, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it because I'm fired up. I have a nice cup of coffee ready to go right here, which I have conveniently paired with my choice of cigar tonight. Um, again, it's my number one favorite cigar. So uh, I've had this thing sitting in my humidor for about a month now, just kind of waiting on it. Didn't have the best of days, wanted to treat myself tonight, and in the cigar world, to me at least, treating myself doesn't mean to grab the most expensive cigar that I have in my humidor, because it wouldn't have been this, but this is hands down my favorite cigar, bar none. It is the Zeno Davidoff Number 2 Especial, Tubo. A um, little backstory on the Tubo, this thing is absolutely awesome. I've seen Arturo Fuente do it. Um, and just a, maybe a handful of others. I wish this was incorporated more by more companies. Um, something about this tube just keeps the cigar great, man. Ages it great. And um, they've conveniently put cedar, if you can see that there, on the inside of the tube. Um, just a couple quick things to note as soon as you pull this thing out. You could just see in the construction, it's absolutely flawless. I mean, it's beautiful. A beautiful pigtail cap. This is, in fact, the Panatella size. Panatella, Lonsdale, and Lancero being my favorites. Um, but for many reasons, this is my favorite cigar. Um, Davidoff has always been a treat to me. It's a bit elusive because you can only find it at select retailers. Um, but um, I, as soon as I tried the number two, I fell head over heels, and um, although it is a tad bit out of my price range, I will still treat myself from time to time because, again, this is my hands-down favorite smoke. Um, these guys, again, I'm in California, run about 28 to 30 bucks, depending on where you pick them up. But I will mention that they do come in boxes of five without the tubo. They come in boxes of four with the tubo. As far as singles, and even in terms of if you break it down in the boxes, the difference in a single without the tubo and a single with the tubo is, I want to say, one to three dollars maybe. So why not? You might as well go for the tubo. Um, again, I, I noticed the difference hands down. That thing is absolutely great. I've seen Arturo Fuente do it again, and just really like a handful of other companies and I uh, wish it was something that was incorporated more but is what it is uh, maybe it just hasn't picked up but again this is the Panatella it is a six inch it is a 38 ring gauge the blend on the inside of these guys is Dominican the wrapper from what I understand is an Ecuadorian Connecticut which is just gorgeous I mean just gorgeous uh, this wrapper Easily identified um, by any seasoned cigar smoker. Um, you'd recognize this from across the room. If, uh, if you'd had these before or tried them or even heard the legends. So um, let's just go ahead and get straight to it while this coffee's still nice and hot. And let's get active. Today I am going to go with a guillotine. Um... Again, this guillotine here is put on by Vertigo, and I really enjoy it because it has a serrated blade. I'm not sure if you guys could catch that, but um, again, I didn't really think it was going to make much of a difference until I got it home and I tried it, and I tell you, man, I love it to death. So, here we go. Always a little bit of moisture before I cut it to avoid any crack or catastrophe. Oh man, the excitement just builds. <laughs> yeah, man, it's been a really long day. Hasn't been the best of days. Was not planning on busting out this Davidoff here. Um, I've had it in my humidor for three weeks, a month, and uh, just decided with the, the day I had to treat myself tonight. And uh, that's one thing I love about cigars. It's always a great pick-me-up if ever I'm feeling down. So... I'm going to go with the match. These are cigar matches. You can get these online. Um, sometimes they're a little hard to get your hands on, but they don't have sulfur, which um, 
can tamper with the flavor of your cigar a little bit. So these are particularly made for cigars. A lot of times they'll come bigger. These are actually the first pack that I've gotten that are this size. Um, they'll usually come like three, four inches long, which is kind of nice too, because you could hold on to it for a while while you're trying to get your cigar going. Um, but overall, if I can, I always like to use a match that's or a soft burn, like a table lighter. They make some really cool vintage antique ones. You can find them on like Amazon. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Wow, the aroma, <laughs> it just, it, it never lets me down, I'll tell you that much. This is one of the smooth, if not the smoothest, not smoother, smoothest cigars that I've ever had the privilege of smoking. Um, I would say that this is just on the border of a mild and a mid-body cigar. Um, some people would contend and say that, yeah, it's a straight mid body to me. I don't get that. Um, I would say that it is extremely smooth, but tends to be almost on the more mild side. Um, like I said, right on that border of, uh, mild and, uh, mid body cigar, medium strength, if you ask me, but, uh, here we go again, the, um, the aroma just when toasting the foot of this thing that you get is kind of a woody, earthy, just a real overall pleasant, smooth, smooth, smooth finish. Yeah, man, to open up, it's a real woody, again, smooth. I, I can't say it enough. The, the, the thing that the word that pops up in my mind when I see a Davidoff pulled out, um, is it's, I want to say like refinement in a nutshell. I mean, it's just always gorgeous. And one thing to note is that for me, at least the draw on the Davidoff is second to none, man. Um, the draw is just absolutely perfect. killer man yeah i get uh those wood notes right out of the gate and um almost like a cre sweet creamy finish i mean again overall it's just <laughs> well-rounded extremely smooth i really really like to pair most davidoffs the grand crew as well um with a nice cup of coffee uh, hazelnut creamer I got in this coffee. You can pretty much play with the creamers. Um, it just goes with the coffee so great. Um, I have yet to try it with any spirits. Um, just by chance, I grabbed a cup of coffee at Pete's one day, sat outside, was doing some work on my laptop, and fired up a Davidoff. And since then, almost got to have the cup of coffee with the cigar. And I'm not usually one to be that picky about pairing. Man, what a treat. <laughs> Turned the whole dynamic of my day around, tell you that much. Um, yeah, so again, the pair with coffee is just something I kind of found. You may not agree, um, but that, that real smooth, light Connecticut wrapper with the coffee seems to always go well with me. That's just that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the rest of this cigar and enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys... Stay blessed.